Hello everybody, welcome back to Unhinged. My name is Adam Noble and this is another RPG Maker tutorial. Today we're going to focus on some basic tips and tricks for RPG Maker MV and MZ that you might not already know. We're going to get right into it. The number one thing that people don't know is that your F keys do things. I know, now I'm going to give big credit to Maui Game Studio for his video. He looked at a lot of this kind of stuff. He focused more of the in-engine and testing of your game using the little play button here. I'm going to focus more on the actual building itself. So when you're building your game, the two most popular buttons you're going to be using are these two buttons up here that swap between the map editing mode and the event editing mode. So you're going to be going up here and clicking a lot. Now I get it. Clicking those things only takes half a second to do. I mean, if that, not very much time at all. However, if you press F6 and F5, you can swap between them. I know, mind blown, mine too. So now you know that you can use F6 and F5 to flop between the two modes, and you can even use F9 to open up your database, which is the other thing you're, you're going to be going into a lot. So again, F5 and F6 between map and event editing mode and then F9 to get into the database. Those are the big things that you're going to be using all the time now. Another thing you might not already know about is that you can use Control R to test your game. Alright, so Maui Game Studio already went over what the F keys do when you're actually in the testing mode, so I'm not going to go over that today. He also went over all the things you can do with the auto tiling. So I'm going to go over real quick what some of that does. So let's say you want to draw patches of grass, but for whatever reason, you don't want it to perfectly line up this way. You don't want it to be using the auto tile, meaning you don't want it to automatically round the edges. You just want a lot of these top left corner rounded edges. Well, if you shift click, it will continue to use whatever tile that you pulled from. So if I just right click here and then I use shift click, you're always going to get that one instead of the auto tile. So I'm going to show you that again using, I'm going to right click to copy this tile, say that's the one I want to use, and then I'm going to just draw manually. And now I'm going to draw while holding left shift. Pretty cool, huh? So that can be used to make cool maps kind of like this one. So using that method, we got the water right up to the shore in a lot of these places where you normally would have this little border around it, this grass border down here. So using that method, you can make your maps look a lot more realistic with the perspective. Another thing that people don't use a lot that in my opinion you should be using is dark mode. So if you go up to the top and go to tools, options, you can then use UI theme dark. You could even do high contrast black if you want. But I think that uh, dark theme is much better. Um, so that will save you a lot of eye strain when you're working on your game at 2 in the morning. Let's face it, we all do that. Alright guys, another thing that I feel like is important that not a lot of people know about or use very often is a debug menu. When I actually get into my game, say there's a spot in your game that you really want to test, but you don't really want to have to deal with getting to that spot every single time. You don't want to add some kind of hidden transport event somewhere. Well, using a plugin, we have got oh, the um, debug menu. Now, there is a there is one built in directly to the game, but we're using uh, Visu Stella's uh, debug menu that will allow you to quickly teleport to any map in your game. So for example, we can go to Seferntown. 
and be placed wherever we want to be. I'm going to select uh, right here. There we go. Now I'm in Seferin Town. So I know that was a quick one today, guys, but a lot of helpful stuff in there that not a lot of people know about. So I hope I uh, talked to you something. I hope I gave you some insight. If you learned anything, leave a comment, subscribe, like the video, and join us on Twitch every Sunday night at 6 p.m. Eastern for some game dev. We'll see you then.